These nappies here are all from Close Parent and it's a Hertfordshire based company and I will talk through how they work. If you are getting them in your free starter kit from any of the councils within Hertfordshire then you get three nappies in your kit. They will either be a single colour plane or two colour like this although they do come in some really lovely prints as well. Um, you'll have to have a look at their website. So these are called the Close Pop-In. They are a birth to potty nappy and you can see that if you open the poppers here they will open out to grow as your little bear does. Well, you've got a newborn bear here so I'm just going to close the poppers once more. They are an all-in-one nappy. It's a bit of a hybrid because you've got separate parts although it all pops together nicely. So one of the parts you've got is a booster which just has a little popper there and this is fleecy on one side and it's a microfiber on the other and it offers extra absorption if you need it. The other two parts of the nappy, again you've got poppers here so they can come out um, and pop in. You've got the waterproof shell which is fitted and shaped and you've got the absorbent inner which is again a microfiber um, mix. So I'll pop that back in here. It's all handily tucked away so it's not going to hurt my little bear at all. Now I know from experience that my bear doesn't need any extra boosting unless it's night time. So I'm not going to worry about this one right now. I'm just going to use this. Now I like to add a liner and I can either use a disposable liner such as these which comes in the other half of my nappy kit and that is um, a paper like a silky paper and I would pop it in here and I tuck it in so that it's not coming out the sides of the nappy and it's not going to get in the way anywhere so I do it like that or I would use a fleece liner which does exactly the same job it's just made of fleece and this one is washable and reusable whereas this one I'd throw away with every wash um, doesn't matter which one you use so let's use our paper one again so here we are now when we're ready to change our bear we open it all out like this our bear goes on the front panel comes over I pop these in so I know it's the right size for my bear and I close the tabs around the tummy now these are handy that I can put all the way over if I need to when I've got a teeny tiny bear and that's it. I want to check that none of the inner, that's his label, I want to check that none of the inner is visible from under the legs. Oops, that's just popped out. Maybe my bear is not quite as tiny as I thought. Um, and none of the inner is visible at the back. And there my nappy has changed. When I'm ready to take the nappy off, if it's dirty or wet, I would open the tabs and with these there's a little tab holder on each side. They're hidden just inside there. So I want to pop it out and that's my tab holder so it doesn't get stuck in the washing. I would open out, I'd grab my wipe and I've either got a disposable wet wipe or these cloth wipes here which um, I would just put in some water so they're damp and I'd wipe my bear as needed and you can go up there for a second thank you. If I'm using a disposable liner I would take this out and throw it away with any solids on there. If I'm using my fleece liner that would just stay there and I would put this in the wash. When I'm ready to change my bear again I just get my new nappy here and open it all out as before. Now this time my bear is ready for bed. So I'm going to get my close pop-in nighttime booster and this again has its poppers. So when you open it out it's um, sort of in three stripes. So I've got my inner bit there which is um, a fleecy fabric and I've got these two on the outside. So I fold them over um, but I make sure I fold them this way so the stripe goes across the middle and that provides you with more absorbency where you need it in the middle of the nappy. So I pop them in and what I'm going to do 
is I'm going to put my hand in and just turn it the other way around. So I've now got the poppers on the inside and I've got my nice absorbent outer. And I'm going to take my absorbent tongue and I'm going to put it on my nappy. So I now have my nappy and my booster with my additional nighttime booster on. And I'm just going to put that all together. So I probably want the poppers on the inside, so I'm just going to swap that over like that. And now this is going to keep me going for many, many hours. I don't want to be getting up in the night to change my bear. So we're good to go. So I now need my liner. I use the this one this time. And that's just coming up a little bit. So what I can do, rather than having the possibility of my bear's clothes getting wet overnight, I'm just going to pop it under the little frill there. So, little bear, I'm ready to get you in your nappy. All of these different pieces are together. And I might find that with so much, I might just want to open this, not all the way down, but just to the next popper. Just so that there is, oops, come here. Um, a little bit more space for my little bear. You obviously wouldn't need to during the day, but for night time you might. And again, this just goes nice and snug around the waist. And I might find I've got a little bit of extra space here around the tummy, which I don't want. So I'm just going to go from underneath the legs and pull down. So that will move it down a little bit here, and now you can see that there's much less extra space. I do my little checks, make sure that under the legs there's no none of the inner. You can see that there's quite a big space there. So that might lead to leakage. So what I probably need to do now is just tighten that leg to move up that space, and that is a little bit better now. And there, my little bear is ready for bed. Night-night.